Hey, what's up, guys? So as you can see, I'm wearing my free prayer shirt. Free prayer. And uh, I was in a store in here just for a couple minutes, right? Just for a couple minutes. And somebody noticed my shirt and they asked for prayer, which was pretty cool, right? I didn't have to initiate or anything, um, which is good to do. We should be doing that. We should be initiating conversation with people and attempting to, you know, share the gospel with them. Uh, but it's so important, guys, that we have this free prayer mentality, this free prayer uh, mission, right? Being purposeful and intentional um, about free prayer. It's like free prayer. What does what does that mean? You know, it means that we are intentional out here in the world, intentional, right? In wanting to bring the will of God to people's lives for free. Whether or not they want to join our church, whether or not they want to take our flyer or take our ministry card, or whether or not they want to follow us on Facebook or social media, right? Free prayer, being the hands and feet of Jesus Christ, his witnesses, preachers of the gospel, everywhere we go for free. Jesus said, go out, preach, go out, walk in the authority I gave you. But make sure you do it for free because you have freely received. So therefore, freely give. That's what free prayer is about. So I definitely want to encourage you guys to get a free prayer shirt. They're only $15 each, right? And on the back, it says no strings attached for that same reason, for that same purpose. We don't want to go out trying to talk to people and share the gospel with people just to get them on a video or on a picture, just to invite them to church, get them over to the conference. And that's what a lot of pastors do. That's what a lot of leaders do. They only send the congregation out when it's time for an event, when it's time for Easter uh, Sunday, when it's time for, you know, Good Friday. And they want to bring people in and pack the church out and, you know, invite them and invite them to be members, invite them to give. And, you know, it, it, it becomes a business. Very uh, you know, very intentional uh, in having a hidden agenda and strings attached. And that's not what we want to uh, do or represent or encourage you guys to do. I want to remind you guys that Jesus has freely given to us. He's freely given us the authority to preach the gospel, authority over demons, authority over sicknesses and diseases. He's given us the ministry to preach to every creature, to let them know that the kingdom of God is coming soon, that people must believe in Jesus and turn from their sins, turn to him and follow him, obey him as Lord and King and make themselves ready for his return, for his judgment, because the wrath of God, hell is real. That's the ministry Jesus has given us and to tell people that they are enemies of God, right? The bad news, but then turn around and give them the good news that Jesus Christ is the way, that they can be justified with God, that they don't have to be Jews to be in relationship with God and in covenant with God, that their sins can be forgiven, that they can be born again and receive the spirit of God and have eternal life if they endure to the end. That's the good news. And Jesus said, I've freely given them to you. So go ahead and freely give them, freely give them to the world around you. Free prayer. Pray for people for free. Lay hands on the sick for free. Tell people about Jesus for free. Ask people how they are in their relationship with God. Do they believe in God? Do they have a relationship with God? Do they fear God? Do they believe in hell? Do they believe in Jesus? Are they leave, living for Jesus? Are they following Jesus? Are they working out their own salvation with fear and trembling, knowing that God will judge all people according to their works? We got to get out here and talk to people about the truth. We got to be preachers, right? Proclaim speak the truth, share the gospel with people. And even, even people who claim they're believers, who claim they're Christians, they got to hear the gospel too. Because a lot of times those people who claim they're Christians are only people who go to church or are only people who were told to repeat a prayer after somebody. But a lot of people don't know God, don't live for God, don't walk in the spirit and are not ready for his judgment. So they will go to hell. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, I want to encourage you guys, not just to get a free prayer shirt, get one. You know, if you're just now trying to venture out and, you know, start reaching out to people and praying for them and sharing the gospel to them, but you're a little shy, it would be a little help for people to reach out to you. Hey, that's a cool shirt. Do you really pray for people? Yeah, oh, pray for me. That's what just happened to me. And I just pray for that man, a grown man asking me for prayer. Come on. 
get the shirt if you're just starting out. But other than that, with or without the shirt, remember, freely you have received from our Lord Jesus Christ. Freely give. Share the gospel with everybody around you. People are on their way to hell because people are not right with God. Jesus said the world is already condemned. The Bible says people are at enmity with God. They're not right with God. They need to be at peace with God. They need to be reconciled with God. And believing in Jesus and following Jesus is the only way. Is the only way. So free prayer. Pray for free. For free. Pray for free. Share the gospel with people for free. Amen. Like this video. Share this video. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're already doing this. Let me know if this challenged you, convicted you, or encouraged you to do this. And get out there. Be a light in this dark world. Be salt in this flavorless world. Be righteous in this evil world. And represent your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because he died for us. And I hope he gets the reward of his suffering. In our lives and through our lives. Amen. Bless you guys. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And let's grow in Christ together. Blessings. Bye-bye.